before starting this very brief introduction, uh, I would like to say thanks to all the organizers of this very great event. The project I'm going to show you today is called Tell Me the Truth, and uh, we try to implement a, a specific web application to address a specific research problem. In particular, we would like to implement a web application for facilitating the annotation of existing knowledge bases by users, including non-expert users in this domain. So, uh, the end interface we want to uh, to give uh, the users uh, the possibility to add the new relations uh, to a knowledge base. Uh, the specific research problem we would like to uh, address uh, is that any layer interposed between the knowledge base and the user itself uh, acts as a semantic lens uh, that may introduce a semantic distortion and, as you know, an interface is uh, a layer between a knowledge base and a user. So a user one uh, uh, decides to add a new relation to an existing knowledge base expects uh, to extend the knowledge base uh, on the one hand, but at the same time, she expects that the semantics of the annotation will comply with the conceptual model underlying the knowledge base. So we would like, we have to uh, manage these two tasks. Uh, so uh, the question is, how can we ensure that the knowledge base is correctly aligned with the semantics of the user annotation? So how can we deal with this layer between the user and the knowledge base? We started with two use cases, two different use cases from uh, the archival and tax scholarship to outline a methodology and the testing approach for assess assessing a certain uh, neutrality in the annotation applications interface. So we started with the, uh, Giuseppe Raimondi's archive and library, a knowledge base that uh, comprises about 9,000 items, including uh, printed volumes, notebooks, uh, but also um, manuscripts and typescripts. And at the same time, we uh, tested, we built this web application also uh, using a knowledge base uh, called uh, Repim, Repertorio della uh, Poesia Italiana in Musica, which corresponds to an incipit index of Italian poetry music composed between the 16th and the 17th century. So these uh, two uh, data sets, knowledge bases, as a uh, um, starting point for uh, building this web application. I would like to show you a video, a video trailer of this web application, uh, just to make you understand uh, the uh, main features uh, of the Tell Me The True application. This is the home page, and you can uh, uh, choose between uh, different uh, knowledge bases. This is, uh, um, sorry, okay. These uh, are uh, um, the knowledge bases we can add some uh, uh, relationships to, so new triples. Uh, the user decides to start with Giuseppe Raimondi's uh, knowledge base, and in this, uh, um, in this sidebar we can find some text written by Raimondi, and we can use them as subjects of new triples, the new triples, so for instance, the user decides to use uh, as a tripod Giuseppe Raimondo, Raimondi Mostro de Teste, and she uh, also set uh, an object, in this case, Paul Valéry, Monsieur Teste, and a predicate that is, uh, was influenced. She decides also to uh, insert a note commenting this statement, and what we obtain is an RDF uh, uh, tripod, in Tartol, in which we have uh, the formalization of the statement she just created, and at the same time, also a natural language expression, explanation of the tripod. This is uh, uh, because we would, we would like the user to be very aware of the meaning of the tripod she just created before inserting it in the database, in the knowledge base. So, we can confirm the data and add a new triple to the knowledge base. Another example from Repim, in which the, uh, the tasks are the same. So first, the user decides to uh, set a subject and an object. Bertoldi Bertoldo, Mia Benigna Fortuna, a text, was influenced by Petrarca Francesco, Mia Benigna Fortuna. The predicate is always was influenced. 
And then what we obtain is again a triple in tartle, a real tartle, and a natural language explanation of the triple. To be sure uh, that the semantics uh, the users want to add is, uh, uh, is correct, we ask the users if there's some, something wrong with the data before inserting them. So for example, in this case, uh, the feedback of the user user is very important because she's telling us that the meaning of the relation was influenced is not what she expects. Okay, and this is the uh, web application. You can find it on uh, GitHub. It is a project that is uh, ongoing, so we will uh, uh, keep on working on it. Okay. Um. Okay, so ensuring the semantic alignment between the annotation application and the added triples is, uh, as you can understand, a twofold task. Because uh, we have the user that add the, the triples, so should validate the triples representing the annotation, but we have also the system on the other side that should guarantee that any further representation uh, of the added triples preserves the uh, original meaning of the annotation. So, to uh, assess this neutrality, to assess uh, this, we use RDF2 uh, techniques to provide users with a natural language translation along with the RDF uh, representation. So what we have to ensure uh, in a web application of this kind is the UI by university uh, because the persistent data must match the data presented by the UI. To verify this, uh, we implemented the read and cycle, uh, read and write cycle, where the test case uh, reads the annotated triples, prints the triples out on the user interface, sa save the triples again without modification, and then the triples in the first and the third steps exactly match. The test case uh, is passed if the resulting knowledge graph matches the already accepted one. So this is very important to uh, ensure a certain neutrality. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, yeah, this project is ongoing, so we would like to extend this web application. In particular, we would like the interface to be tested with uh, new and different conceptual models and knowledge bases. At the same time, uh, you know, the data algorithm should be, the extraction, extraction data algorithm should be adapted uh, to the structure expected by the UI. And at the same time, we would like to try to handle different kinds of complex relations, such as codes, for example, to be represented in the web application. So I think this introduction is over, so thank you. <laughs>